Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is RJ. So today we are going to be checking out Atomic Wallet. It's been two months since the last time I did an update on this. So we're going to be looking at how the account has changed, the new coins that have been introduced, and also how to pick the best baker for your Tezos. So keep watching. Okay, and welcome to another video. And remember, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to learn more about how to earn cryptocurrency for free, about cloud mining sites, crypto investments, and lots of other crypto related stuff, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tag that notification bell so you're alerted to all my latest content as it comes online. Okay, so like I said at the beginning, it's been two months since the last time we popped into the Atomic Wallet. And I know a lot of you guys have been sending me DMs and PMs asking me to talk about staking. Okay, so Atomic Wallet is just a standard wallet as well. It can hold up to, or it caters for, should I say, up to over 300 different coins. And they are adding to that list all the time which is absolutely excellent now obviously just on a security point of view and a lot of people will point this out if i don't mention it is that the atomic wallet does not have 2fa security so second factor security atomic wallet does not have so i don't really encourage keeping large amounts of currency in this wallet unless they in the future ask, um, attach 2FA to it, but it is still a great wallet. But obviously, what you've got to make sure is that if you put this wallet onto your desktop, the one, your, your computer is completely clean. Now, this does not mean that you have to actually physically wipe your computer, reload up Windows, all that kind of stuff. Just use a really good antivirus, scan it, do a deep scan as well. Uh, also as well, uh, run any malware software that you can, all those kind of things, uh, just to make sure that your system is completely clean before loading this up. The only reason I say that is basically because obviously you do have a password to get into this once you when you set it up, but it do like I say it does not have second factor security, and there is a possibility if you already have uh, viruses or malware on your system, then your wallet could possibly get hacked. So that is just uh, for a safety measure. Just make sure that your system is completely clean before you put this on there and start using it. Obviously, Atomic Wallet does have a mobile version of it as well which i'm not entirely sure if that has second factor security because i don't personally use it i always just use the uh, desktop but like i say just bear that in mind if you are going to be using this wallet for anything whether it's even just to save uh, your currency in or to do staking as well so for those of you that are not familiar with what Atomic Wallet is, Atomic Wallet is basically a multi-coin crypto wallet which can hold up to over 300 coins and they are adding new coins all the time. Now one of the best features of this wallet is the staking feature. Now basically what that does mean is that you can add coins that are listed in their staking section and receive a yearly interest on that. Some coins you are is going to receive as high as 20% per year on those coins and because you get a daily reward so essentially that interest is paid to you in small increments every single day you can then stake those rewards like claim the rewards then stake those coins as well which then compounds that interest and actually you will find you're earning more coins every single day and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a link in the description to another playlist that is going to give you some earlier reviews I've done on this wallet, which is going to give you a better overview, more information, and a better understanding of how everything works. And if you go right the way through to the end of this video, those links will be there also, so you can just click straight on it and get watching. Okay, so like I said, it's been about two months since the last time we were in here. Uh, so... 
two months ago we only had two coins that we were staking we had AWC which is atomic wallet coin and we had 305 of those on uh, the last video the last video I did uh, and Tron we had 22 Tron so if we go and check out staking now you'll see that quite a lot has changed not only with the amount of coins that we have staking but also because um, Atomic Wallet has introduced two new coins well uh, they introduced these a while back they've also introduced Icon uh, and they also introduced uh, Komodo I believe as well but Icon, Cardano and Silica is definitely or Zilica uh, is definitely uh, are definitely new uh, and obviously as they've put them as hot definitely might be some coins to be looking into anyway we can see here that like I said we had 305 we now have 391 coins and this is pretty much all from staking uh, because if we go in here every Monday we will get our um, payout at 17 percent per year so we get a payout which we can then claim at all and that I do claim and then add to my staking so I'm basically just building that up and building that up okay so Tron we had 22 we now have 126 ready for staking and 261 already state so we have a total of 387 we also have an unclaimed reward there so let's go through this process so first we'll claim the reward so that says it's been successfully claimed we go back to staking uh, to get that to just sort of unfortunately there's not actually a refresh button which would be very handy but if we sort of go out uh, wiggle around for a bit so just click on that maybe just get it get your uh, wallet to basically do something else then if you go back into staking they uh, each has it been cleared yeah so there you go so it sh so the reward is gone so that's the reward that gone so we have another 126 that we can add to staking now a lot of you out there might be wondering how I'm managing to build this Tron up very simple all I'm using is two free faucets to build my Tron up. Those faucets are Auto Claim Faucet and also Larvel Faucet. So both of these are free faucets, and I specifically use these two just for building up my coins, which I then transfer into Atomic Wallet for staking. Now I do use other faucets as well I use the coin pot faucets and uh, other meat other faucets as well and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to a playlist uh, which basically shows you all of the faucets that I am currently using basically I don't want to get into uh, explaining how auto claim and Larvel faucet work now because I'm just trying to focus and give you the information about atomic wallet but like I say if you are interested and interested in other free faucets like I say the link will be in the description but also as well if you go through to the end of this video that link will be there also so you could just click straight on it and get watching okay so to stake uh, the 126 that we have we just click stake and then click stake all click the big button enter our password confirm and then if we go back that sh when we rejig it again that should disappear at the top and then we should just have this so again we'll just click on another coin and then go back to staking and there you go so that has gone there the 126 was there it's now gone so if we click on there 387 staked and then 
so obviously with this you'll get you get a um you get five percent per year as you can see there but if you are if you are always uh even if you're not adding new coins, so if you just say put, I don't know, if you put like 100 in there, 200, whatever you decide that you want to put in. Even if you're not adding any more, but you are always adding your reward, that is constantly building. That means that obviously that um, is compounding the interest. Therefore, every time you get a reward, you're always getting more, which is then building up your account. So it is a really good way of just building up coins for not a lot of effort and not a lot of risk. So that is uh, really good. So if we go back, so the other we also the other ones we also have are Tezos and Band. Now Band, I've only just sort of got into this. I did speak to you guys a while back saying that I wanted to get some band protocol coins. At the time I spoke about it, they're at about $14 per coin. They've actually dropped quite significantly. They're about $5.5 per coin now. But you're still getting 17% yearly. So that is the same as the Atomic Wallet. Even though it says here 20%, because of the amount of coins we've got, and we're not quite at that top tier, we're actually receiving 17%, which is the same as Band. If we click on there, again, we've got an unclaimed uh, reward, but if you put on here, you see the network fee is higher than the reward. Min claim is basically 1 million Band. So until we get to that uh, level, we, you know, we just have to let that build up. And it doesn't take long you're looking at maybe a couple of days or something and you'll be there so um that band protocol also if you check it out on google uh, i think it is going to be an up and coming uh, token that is probably well that is worth getting into uh tezos now a lot of people have come to me said that they've staked tezos and that they've basically not received anything back even after six months and stuff like you know that length of time they've not received any sort of a reward or any sort of a payout on it now i'm going to show you something that could well explain that it's also a great way of picking your baker as it were so basically you can see here i'm using pa paradigm bakery that are giving me 5.79 yearly interest on that I was using a company called Bake Tease Tease Z because their payout was higher. But once I've uh, once I checked things out and realised what was going on as to why I wasn't receiving payments, this might answer your questions as well. So keep watching. Okay, so this is a really great site because it gives you so much information to decide what baker you want to use to stake your tezos with now like i said i was using a baker called bake tz because they were really highly recommended they gave it a really good return so you know i thought why not but then after i don't know however many months two or three months or six months i don't know no, it wouldn't be six months maybe two or three months i'd not received anything whereas with obviously the other coins you're receiving a reward every single day now if we scroll down here this is bait tz this is who i used to use and then i suddenly realized what was going on now this bar basically every baker has a capacity as to how much or how many tezos they can hold and stake if we go to baker tz the available capacity is minus 120,230 so that means that there is either a lot of people with a small amount of tezos wondering why they're not receiving anything or there is someone with a large amount of tezos wondering why they're not receiving anything but basically because it's gone past its available capacity i'm assuming this is an assumption but i'm assuming that anything that is outside of that capacity does not receive a reward now really i personally think that if that is the case once a baker has received 
re uh, reached its capacity, then it should not be allowed, or there should be some sort of a stop mechanism to allow you no so you're no longer allowed to add any more coins to that baker but that doesn't seem to be the case so basically people are like me just looking up on google what are the best bakers for tezos bake tz is in one is the t one it is one of the top three and that's why i picked it because the top one i think it gave a better reward but then also the fee was higher and things like that and that's why i fell on bake tz because i thought right that seems like a good one but yeah it's just way over capacity so it you're just not going to earn anything from that so the real the really good thing with this is you can obviously select things so if you can select it by name so if you want to just look for the one with the lowest fee you can click that you can see that's a, a zero is giving you a, a 5.31 yield but again it's 83,000 coins over capacity crack on uh, got a really low uh, really low um, fee high yield and its efficiency is really good this is another thing you've got to be looking at is your efficiency you want to be triple a or triple a plus now it's really low so it's got plenty of space but it does say it's an exchange and putting your coins on an exchange can lead you leave you exposed for possible hacks on that exchange therefore you losing all of your coins so Kraken although again it's one of these highly recommended sites because it's an exchange I chose not to go with that. Now you've got Tezzy Land. It's only one percent. They still have a really small amount of available capacity, and they are at six percent. But their efficiency is only double A. I mean, obviously, baking team is BB. This the so really, like I say, you want to be looking at trip triple A or triple A plus. Now, what I did was I clicked on efficiency so I clicked on efficiency and then obviously the first thing it brings up is the triple A plus five percent fee so again it's pretty low nearly six percent state yield but again its capacity is really high so then what we do is we just look at we click on capacity so scroll basically down from the um, in fact what you're probably better to do is start at the low green so click that and then go up and then what I landed on if it's around here somewhere uh, like I say these are all triple A have I gone past it anyway <laughs> I landed on paradigm which I'm really trying to find now here we go paradigm bakery now that's actually gone down. Oh no! So the fee, yeah. So sorry, the fee is right four nine nine. So that's just under five percent. So like I say, that's not too bad. A lot of these ones like this, Tesla, France, eleven percent. Some are ten percent. Some are fifteen percent. Some are even look here twenty percent. So four nine four point nine nine percent is actually really good. It's giving you again nearly six percent. It's also AAA rated efficiency wise and it's got a, de a good amount of available capacity which means that obviously if you want to keep adding to your Tezos you can do just keep an eye on its capacity to make sure that you are not ending up to the point where any uh, of your Tezos fall out side of that capacity so it goes that the capacity has gone into a negative and your tezos are in there because those ones that you've added later will not receive any sort of reward so it completely waste of time but like i say those are the things you want to be looking out for so a good fee a good payout efficiency of uh triple a or triple a plus and a um a good amount of capacity available for you to add your tezos to if you're wondering what the efficiency is basically what that is is how um basically how long it's online because be being a baker uh, you essentially need to have your um account because uh, you're staking to the baker so you want your staking account or the the coins that you have staked to be online and active 
hundred percent really that's what you want and that's what you'll find the the uh, AAA plus will probably be 99% or even a hundred percent but like I say 98% is really good you know that is still really good uh, I mean obviously let's have a quick look at the the efficiency can we find the triple the triple plus efficiency there we go so what is that yeah look a hundred point 100.01 percent so that means it is never ever down there's no downtime on that uh baker but like i say the capacity is over or so paradigm i feel is a, a really good compromise but this is a great site so you can check all those facets out and making sure that everything is how you need it to be to be earning your tezos okay so i'm going to leave that there and if you are interested in those earlier videos they're probably on your screen right now so get clicking and get watching and if you could smash that like button really supports my channel which then helps me bring more content to you so take care have a great rest of your week and i'll speak to you soon thanks a lot bye